Alrighty, what is going on everyone? It's your boy here, Yankee, the real deal messiah here. We, of course, your personification of excellence when it comes to Cowboys football talk here on YouTube.com. It is Sunday, uh, September 8, 2024. Of course, uh, NFL action happening right now, week one. Um, the Sunday portion of the schedule, because uh, it is 1.03 p.m. right here as I'm recording this. But I wanted to come on here... Um, because there was some news that happened with the Dallas Cowboys. Of course, everybody knows about it. Um, and I want to share my thoughts on it. So, Friday, when I did the prediction on the Cowboys versus Browns game, I had mentioned that Dak Prescott, you know, um, if Dallas and Dak Prescott did not get a deal done um, before this game, you know that Dak Prescott uh, was going to test the free agent market. However, um, Adam Schefter of ESPN is reporting that Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys have reached an agreement, um, a four-year contract, $240 million. Um, that's going to make him the highest paid player in NFL history and keep him in a Cowboys uniform for seasons to come. So, four years we're talking about. And, um, let me just say about this. And, um, you know, you say the world's highest paid regular season player. $60 million a year. We should be getting a player who can carry a team to victory like Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying that we should get like Patrick Mahomes or somebody like a Patrick Mahomes. No. I want somebody that can be a guy that can lead this organization and lead the Cowboys to win in the Super Bowl. Now, when you look at this, we already got in this offseason, which there, there's a lot of questions. Why we got these deals done this late in the game. CeeDee Lamb, Dak Prescott, now you got to get Micaiah Parsons signed. And if you do get Micaiah Parsons signed, you got the three richest paid players in the Dallas Cowboys franchise. And you got three guys that can put up monster stats against weak competition and then when you play the tougher competition especially the tough games like the 49ers the Philadelphia Eagles and then when you go into the playoffs you guys disappear I've seen this game happen so many times even with the New York Yankees I see it and that's why the Dallas Cowboys have this Top, heavy, middle, and bottom week roster. Now, the Cowboys, I understand they're the most valuable franchise in the world. $10 billion. This team has not even been to an NFC championship game in almost 30 years. Ever since I was like in elementary school. And want to know why? Because of market share. You got 28 million people in Texas. 75% of the NFL fan base. The Dallas Cowboys fans. And I kind of look at it and I'm like, you know, we got Dallas and Houston. Why can't we have another NFL team in Texas? It, I kind of think of... San Antonio. Because San Antonio, they're trying to get an NFL franchise, but it's blocked. And who's the person that's blocking San Antonio from getting an NFL franchise? Jerry Jones. Because Jerry Jones is the leader when it comes to all of the NFL owners. That's corruption right there. And... The public, they don't understand why businesses 
like the NFL, are getting away with this now. And, you know, with all of these antitrust laws. A lack of competition in the market is as much to blame as energy inputs and executive regulations uh, for inflation nightmares that we are in right now in this society. So um, that's how I kind of feel with this. Um, so yeah, bottom line simply is this. This saves the Cowboys because they, they already know that if, like I said, if Dak Prescott had left, they're in quarterback purgatory. You look at it. You don't trust Trey Lance. Trey Lance, that dude sucked in the postseason, not postseason, preseason. But yeah, look for more disappointments when it comes to the playoffs. That's my thoughts on this, guys. So let me all know what you guys think. Um, comment down below. I'm out, guys. I got some more videos coming up today. I might talk about the Cowboys and Browns game later. Um, I'm out, guys. Peace.